Dr. Jane Goodall believes everyone can make a difference. The conservationist and world's leading expert on chimpanzees is in Minnesota this weekend. Goodall began with her iconic chimpanzee call. The 83 year old primatologist spoke to a full house on the U of M campus Friday night as part of her spring lecture tour. New this morning, she told me about the threats facing our world and why she has hope for the future. Dr. Jane Goodall's journey began in the Gombe, researching chimpanzees in Tanzania in the 60s. Chimps are our closest relatives. They're way more intelligent than anyone thought. They help us to understand human evolution a little bit better. Over decades of groundbreaking work in the country, she witnessed the surroundings outside the national park changing, and her passion for our world grew exponentially. And that's when it hit me. If we don't do something to improve the lives of these people and suggest alternatives to making money or growing food by cutting down the trees, we can't even try to save the chimps. That started her on a course to educate people and to encourage the next generation to become better stewards of the environment. She sees a few interrelated issues as barriers. It starts with extreme poverty. Where you destroy the environment or buy the cheapest things made in an unethical way because you have to. The second is the, the uh, lifestyle of almost everybody else. We have more than we need. The third problem is human population growth. And I would say the fourth problem is corruption. The UN Messenger of Peace believes there are many reasons for hope. The human mind, the resilience of nature when we give it a helping hand, uniting on social media to bring concerned voices together, the energy and commitment of young people, and what she calls the indomitable human spirit. And it begins with people realizing that every individual can make a difference. Think about each day how you can leave the smallest environmental footprint that you possibly can. But if it's 20 million people, if it's a billion people, all making those wise choices each day, those ethical choices, that moves us towards a different kind of world. Now, earlier in the day, Goodall met with professors and researchers at the U of M who continue her work in Tanzania. The U was home to the Jane Goodall Institute Center for Primate Studies for more than a decade before it moved in 2009. Her groundbreaking work with chimpanzees laid the foundation for Dr. Michael Wilson's career. The associate professor began his research as a student at the U. The biological anthropologist now leads graduate students' work there. Currently, a student is researching vocal dialects to see if chimpanzee communities talk differently. Another student studies skeletal remains. Finding new ways to build on this really amazing long-term detailed data set. Uh, there's so much that we have left to learn about the chimpanzees. And there are so many things that we can only learn because the research has been going on for so long. Goodall travels an average of 300 days a year speaking, talking about how our world is all interconnected. The Jane Goodall Institute, we have more information on that program she started and ways to get involved. It's all at WCCO.com slash links. I just saw an Omni uh, film at the Science Museum about uh, her work, and she's just an incredible lady. So, just so cool to get to meet her, yeah. Absolutely. All right.